So today uh, we are starting the second day of the open air open access week. Um, is on this second day, we are starting with a presentation uh, that will focus one of the open air services, the open air uh, connect. And the title uh, for the, today's session is Aurora and Open Air, Connecting Research and uh, SDGs. So, as speakers, we have Alessia Bardi from CNR, and Isti from Italy, and Maurice um, from Bridge University of Amsterdam. Uh, sorry if I pronounced wrong the name. <laughs> um, and they will. Uh, talk uh, about the service, Open the Connect service, and in practice, the integration of uh, the SDGs also uh, in Open Air Connecting and in Open Air. And after lunch, just to, to remind that we will have more sessions today, one, one more session. So this afternoon, we, we, will, we will have the first Knowledge Cafe the title research communities and climate action being open to drive change so you the registrations are still open so you can register and participate also on this session and we also have here some housekeeping rules for this session so the, this event is being recorded and the, the recording and the slides will be made available in the event page in the panel portal your microphones are off, but during the, the q and session, we, we can open your microphone to, to put your questions to the, to the speakers. And we can also use the chat to, to put some comments or questions. Uh, and we can also share this presentation in social media using the, the hashtags we have here on the slide at the bottom and also reference open air. And that's it from my side. Uh, and I pass the floor to Alessia to start the presentation. Yes, thank you, Andre, for the introduction. So let me share my screen. <clears throat> no. Okay. Okay, great. So I'm Alessia Bardi from the Italian uh, National Research Council. I'm a researcher in computer science and I've been involved in open air since a lot of years. And now I'm the product manager of Open Air Connect, uh, which is one of the services that open air offers to research communities. So the presentation of today is, it's around Connect, but in fact, uh, we will explain in more details who, what are the collaboration activities that we are carrying out uh, together with Aurora, which is a network of universities um, in Europe. And, okay, and basically, so we will start with, uh, with Maurice's presentation on Aurora and the activities for open science and SDGs. Uh, then I'll present you the Open Air Connect service, and then we'll conclude with a presentation of the Connect Gateway and the monitoring dashboard of Aurora that have been set up in the context uh, of our collaboration. So before we go into the details of this collaboration, uh, let me briefly introduce Open Air. So Open Air is, the, is a European scholarly communication infrastructure and also a non-profit organization. The organization is based in Greece, but is composed of universities, research centers, and libraries from all around Europe. The mission is to promote and foster open science. And to do that, it offers services for policy making, trainings, and for the implementation of open science practices uh, that can be adopted by uh, research initiatives or organizations, but also by the single researchers. 
And as you can see, the services uh, cover all phases of the research life cycle. So from publishing to the discovery and outreach services for interoperability and data management and so on. And here you can see all the services that OpenAir offers and you can find more information on each of them on the OpenAir catalog. So on catalog.openair.eu and based on the type of uh, service that you need, uh, the catalog will suggest you the, the ones that OpenAir can offer to you. <clears throat> so the collaboration with Aurora. The collaboration started in September 2021 and covers different topics because both Aurora and OpenAir are interested in all the aspects of open science. And in fact, we identified several lines of collaboration. So of course, they are all related to each other because the overall goal is that of strengthen uh, the Aurora network, its universities, its researchers, um, with open science uh, tool. So increase also the outreach of the research results of Aurora, show off the, the impact and importance of what Aurora is doing with regards to the big societal challenges uh, that can be represented somehow by the uh, sustainable development goals as defined by the United Nations. So the first thing we did is to prepare a Connect Gateway, a Connect Gateway that could work as a single entry point to all research results of the Aurora universities. And to do that, we had to ensure that all repositories, all quiz systems uh, in the network were compliant with the Open Air guidelines so that they could be registered in open air provide, which is the service for content providers. And by registering into provide, they become part of open air. And this means that they provide content to the open air aggregator. And this metadata that open air collects is put together with all the other repositories, thus it's enriched uh, by uh, our uh, full text mining algorithm and so on. And VIA provide repositories and quiz systems also has the possibility to, to use added value services uh, like the broker service for enriching the local records with suggestions from open air or the usage count service, uh, which can be used for tracking the usage in terms of views and downloads of the records. Then, in parallel, some researchers of Athena Research Center, which is one of the members of Open Air, had interesting exchange with the uh, Aurora team, and they discussed approaches, challenges, and solutions for classifying textual documents based on SDG goals and targets. Then we have the monitor. So uh, Maurice will show you the monitor dashboard for Aurora, where, oops, sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Maurice will show you the, the, the monitor dashboard for Aurora, uh, where we have uh, open science indicators. So to keep track uh, of different aspects of open science among the research results of the Aurora network and as a work in progress, uh, we have, um, let's say, uh, we are working on the definition and integration of uh, SDG, uh, SDG indicators uh, for the monitor. And the expertise of Aurora on this topic uh, was a great opportunity uh, for Open Air to better understand the aspects that are relevant for our research initiative and how can we, um, support uh, these uh, their activities in this context. So now it's time to leave the floor to Maurice, who will tell us about Aurora and its activities on open science and SDGs. So I'm stopping 
sharing my screen. Thank you, Alessia, for this uh, wonderful introduction. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I can uh, enlighten you a little bit more about uh, uh, our collaboration. Um, uh, so um, uh, I, I will start with, uh, uh, let me see, uh, sharing my screen or starting the presentation, then sharing my screen. Uh, that doesn't go uh, together, but we'll get there. Start sharing, share my screen. I think you can see my screen, right? No? Yes, 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 we can see yes. your, your screen. Uh, the, the question is what, what screen do you see? Do you see a blue thing? Yes, oh, yes, and only the, the desktop. Okay, yes. so now I can open this presentation good okay. so now you see the presentation yes um so uh, um, uh, i will tell you something about uh, first about aurora uh, and then about our open science project and then about our sdg project um and uh, then i i think i go back to alessia so Aurora is also um, uh, uh, has as many member organizations, uh, universities. So, like uh, the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam, um, uh, University of Iceland, uh, East Anglia, etc. So there are ten of them, and uh, we uh, it's a, it's a partnership of like-minded and closely collaborating uh, research-intensive uh, European universities uh, who use their academic excellence to drive societal change and contribute to the sustainable development goals. Um, and uh, this is a, a bold statement and that's what we try to uh, figure out how can we uh, show that and I will come back later in the presentation, how we try to achieve uh, that uh, to, to make that more visible. Um, but first, uh, let's talk about open science. So open science, there is a program that we've uh, uh, working on uh, which uh, has uh, several parts. So uh, task one is to create an open knowledge base on open science. And what we try to do is to create uh, this open science function to the SEG dashboard. Um, that was pretty neatly thought, thought out, but uh, it's better to uh, work together with open air to, uh, to work out that dashboard uh, in this open science monitor. And that's where I go back into later in this presentation to, uh, to show you more about that. Um, and to uh, share a knowledge base of open science resources, policies, and next best practices within uh, the Aurora uh, community, but also uh, with the lessons learned and services that are uh, available uh, from open air. Um, the second is to, to set up uh, training modules uh, for young researchers. And again, also a lot of resources are already available uh, from within open air that, uh, that can be used and reused. Uh, for that purpose. Um, so that's that's why this collaboration is so great uh, to see. Uh, so we can strengthen uh, each other's uh, work and work where it's already uh, been done. And then the last part is to create an open science uh, starter kit for open science communities. And that's also uh, very nice to to look into uh, because um, uh, that's also open for, for the rest of uh, um, the European universities to, to create open science community from the bottom up with young researchers to uh, enable uh, starting to talk about uh, open science and how to enable them to do that. So this is the, um, the scope um, and it's been uh, adopted from the uh, Dutch National uh, Open Science uh, uh, Program, strategy program, uh, where you have different strands uh, and the horizontal part is it's on uh, working on policy, working on recognition and rewarding uh, researchers for open science, uh, setting up uh, um, uh, communities, community engagement, uh, so that uh, also to, to learn research to how to uh, uh, communicate with society, uh, getting support and training for open science, and uh, having the infrastructure to uh, to make to enable that. And then uh, 
there uh, in the vert vertical part there's it's fair and responsible research so that's the research part uh, public engagement so to to see uh, to tell the public what our research is about uh, and and uh, but also to um, set up startups etc doing that engagement and uh, of course open uh, open education that's a third um, pillar of uh, of well the, the business of doing universities in, uh, in 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 at least in the Netherlands but also here in in Aurora um and uh where we create for where where all do these things fit so we have task uh, the knowledge base uh, sits on the on the policy we have open science community building uh, package and open science training uh citizen engagement uh, and all the other uh, parts are uh, done in in other uh, work packages of of this project i ask i go a little bit quicker uh, because uh, i'm i'm aware of the time um so um as i said before so the open science dashboard uh, we try to work we work together with open uh, open air to uh, to monitor um these uh, of open science um uh, a knowledge base uh, and uh, open science community starter kit. So um, if you go to this URL uh, and we'll send out the links uh, later on, I guess, uh, you uh, you can pick up your starter kit as well uh, to create a community. So uh, in the Netherlands, uh, we have uh, a lot of communities uh, at each university has established the open science community um uh, but also it's been ex exported overseas as well in europe uh, and we want to create more uh where is it yeah that's my presentation more uh, in the year um uh, uh in the aurora university as well so that was the first part so the second part is the second program uh erasmus based on uh, erasmus plus funding um, it's a sustainable development uh, uh, goals uh, research dashboard. So uh, I think I want to show you a presentation, and I hope this works. If it doesn't, just uh, let me know if you don't hear the sound, etc. So it gives you a uh, thirty second, or is it uh, ninety seconds introduction? So that saves me uh, some time. Hi everyone. Welcome to the introduction of the Aurora Research Dashboard, where we show how our research output is related to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs for short. Aurora is a European university alliance who aim to harness their academic excellence to influence societal change through research and educational activities. The project Aurora SDG Research Dashboard aims to turn the SDGs into a leading narrative for research in the Aurora Alliance. The end goal is to make the interactive dashboard available for other universities, networks and stakeholders to demonstrate the societal relevance and societal impact of research of Aurora universities. This dashboard shows the research contributions in these societal challenges and how policymakers have used the research available to tackle these challenges. With this dashboard we want to answer the following questions. How do our universities, collectively and individually, contribute with our research output to grand societal challenges, like the Sustainable Development Goals? How freely and open accessible is our SDG-related research output for the rest of society? How excellent is that SDG-related research output perceived by the academic community in terms of field-weighted citation impact? How is that SDG-related research output used in societal debate such as news reports, in technological advancements as in patents? How is our SDG-related research output used in policy by governments and non-governmental organizations across the globe? How does excellent SDG-related research output relate to societal impact? And finally, how do we internationally collaborate with researchers on specific SDG-related research? Feel free to explore the data in the dashboard and find a narrative to answer these questions. Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome. To Did you see the video? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> because I saw a, a black screen. Um, so uh, we built this together with uh, with a team uh, of people, uh, and uh, these are the people who are working on this. So I'm, I'm not doing this alone. This is a, a, a group of experts who who uh, work uh, day and night <laughs> on this project to make this happen. Um, 
And uh, so the, the uh, idea is to turn the SDGs into a leading narrative for the research, uh, for research in, in the Aurora Alliance. Uh, and we want, what we want to have at the end of uh, this year is to have a dashboard and that, uh, that's a robust uh, tool that can be used by different stakeholders like communication officers, policy officers, grant officers uh, to, uh, to, to, use, uh, to use this tool to see where, where the collaboration is and uh, how strong we are on certain SDGs or the open science part, uh, the open access part of, of that uh, for certain SDGs. Um, and um, uh, and we want to make this available for other universities. And uh, that that part is is uh, we could export uh, this uh, this product and and uh, just uh, just like that. But uh, what our aim was was also to uh, especially to collaborate with Open Air to uh, find the, in this partnership uh, a, a thing so that uh, we we can deliver something that everybody can later on use. Um, uh, in, in the SDGs, but also on on uh, on the impact pages on the monitor, for example, to uh, to work on that. So to have a have a similar um, uh, experience that we have in our custom made uh, uh, dashboard. So this is the timeline. Um, we what started with uh, was to work on on specific queries uh, to uh, to find research papers. We got uh, 1.5 million papers back and used those abstracts to train an AI uh, that can uh, identify uh, text fragments and put a label on it for uh, each of the SDGs uh, in multiple languages. And that was very important because not all, not all, all our research is written in English, but also in German and Itali Italian, etc. So we want to use that uh, AI to translate uh, uh those labels also to other languages we use that to classify our papers i made it this in the, in the dashboard so that's basically it so um bearing of time very short very brief um so let's come back to the statement that we've made uh so aurora is a partnership of, of like-minded and closely collaborating research intensive European universities use their academic excellence to drive societal change and contribute to the sustainable development goals. That was their, it's the statement of Aurora. So I used these, we use these uh, statements and said, okay, what are these things exactly? So what is research intensivity? So we, we looked at the publications, for example, for each research output, uh, academic excellence, see the field weighted citation impact uh, to see how excellent research is, and specifically on these SDGs. Uh, and we want to see, uh, to drive societal change, we want to see how open and accessible is, are these uh, publications? Are they used in policy documents? Are they used in patents? Uh, and are they used in, in news reports? Um, and we, of course, we want to see, uh, uh, to filter on, on the uh, SDGs. So this is a, the dashboard, for example, where you can see for each university uh, uh, what their contribution is on each SDG. And you can also see that how much of the research is not related to the SDGs. So that's the gray, gray areas. Um, uh, so we can, can see how, how much we contribute and then you can zoom into uh, each of these SDGs uh, uh, to see how relationships are uh, uh, among each uh, among each other also we we even can zoom into organizational levels so um, what we didn't we, we uh, put the co uh, publications on each uh, um, sub organizations or faculties and departments so you can even zoom in uh, where where that uh, research is is um, hitting in the organization itself yeah so this is a co-author collaboration. Uh, here we can filter, for example, on, on the landlocked developing countries. Uh, so we can see what kind of research, uh, especially on the SDGs, uh, has been done uh, uh, collaboratively in these countries. So as uh, 3,000 uh, papers have been co-authors, also we have co-authors with, uh, with, uh, with co-authors co in these countries. Uh, and they are basically uh, working on high energy uh, and then um, we want to see the excellence, open access. Um, here also, 
for example, policy uh, impact. So we, we use Overton to, uh, to add that information in there to see what kind of, uh, in the least developing countries, um, what kind of research has been used uh, by us, uh, by, by the Aurora universities and on which SDGs specifically uh, are they targeting. Um, and this uh, is an example where you can see, for example, where you we have uh, a highly cited uh, field weight cit citation uh, research in SDG 9 um, and has a, um, uh, uh, on average, it's, it's a uh, high, uh, has, has a lot of um, uh, citations, uh, field weighted, and, uh, but it has a low policy up uptake, um, lower than the average. Uh, what we can see here. So this is this might be an SDG uh, where it could be much more attention to drawn towards uh, for policymakers to see what kind of research is there in there, and to uh, start um, uh, uh, finding policymakers that can actually use our research. So so we have an, can can have a proactive engagement with policymakers, uh, uh, showing that excellent research from us to to them. Um, also, and these are byproducts, what I show you now, uh, because we, we uh, have made a classification uh, system. We uh, also uh, uh, want to build a service, an online service, where you can insert a text snippet, um, uh, text fragment, and you can press classify, and it classifies um, this text fragment uh, to the SDGs. Uh, you can uh, extract the data if you want, uh, uh, but also you can embed uh, this as a badge on, on, an, on a web page, for example. Um, so for example, um, here um, on the right, uh, there's our research portal from, uh, from the University of Amsterdam, uh, Freie Universiteit Amsterdam. And uh, you can embed these uh, kind of um, uh, badges onto your uh, repository. Um, but so here's a, an example. This is a mock-up uh, from the Aurora um, uh, uh, gateway we made, made from uh, with open air. And uh, we could also uh, put those labels on there. Um, but this is a mock-up. It's not reality right now. But uh, we're we're working on on these uh, these kind of uh, things. Um, and on the on the uh, what is it called the details page of of a publication. So now I will talk about gateway and monitor. But maybe uh, Alessia needs to take over a bit. Uh, yes, I have a presentation for Connect in general, so Good. it will explain. Yeah. Uh, what is Connect and uh, what are the possibilities uh, for creating a gateway uh, as you did for our automobiles. And, and then I think you can present uh, the gateway and the, and the monitor dashboard. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so usually when I start talking about Connect, I talk about open science. Now here in this audience, I think uh, we all know what open science is. We know that it's not one thing, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of practices uh, for something that is not open science just for the sake of it, but it's because we want to have science research that is reproducible, transparent, and we want to be, give credit to researchers for everything that they do. So not only the final uh, typical traditional publication, but also for the data sets, for the software, for the workflows, uh, for all the steps that uh, resulted in the final results of the research. And clearly with openness it comes the possibility to be not only be open for academics, but also open to society and to the public, as Maurice uh, explained just a few minutes ago in a perfect way. But also open science has been recognized by UNESCO, and I'm citing here a sentence from Anna Persic. Uh, open science has been, re been recognized as a key factor, a key accelerator for achieving 
uh, the sustainable development goals. And if we acknowledge that, then it means that research performing organizations and research communities uh, need to make um, the, the best as they can in order to embrace open science, in order to speed up their progress and their impact towards the SDGs. And clearly, it would be not very nice if research communities do this effort, make this effort, and then nobody knows. Because um, that would be a pity, and you will not reach the goal of actually outreach to the public and be open to the society. So not having a dedicated portal where you, that you can use to communicate what you're doing is like if you're speaking to an empty audience. So what should we do? So we need to track. We need to track the uh, output of research, how they are interconnected uh, to each other so that we have a record of research uh, which is contextualized. So it's not only about the publications and the data, but it's also how they are connected to each other, uh, which was the funding project, which are, who, who are the organization, who are the people. So having this complete record of research, uh, it's very important for also to, uh, to have a narrative of your results in the end. But you also want to monitor because as a research initiative, a research communities, uh, you will have policies in place or you want to understand how your researcher uh, adopt open science practices. And this is where also a monitor comes into the game. Uh, but the indicators of what you're going to monitor need to be open and transparent as well. And the process should be uh, reproducible. And finally, discover. So if you want to show um, your efforts, your results, uh, then you need to allow people to discover your results and not just with the uh, standard way of searching, but maybe we need more advanced, smarter discovery tools to do it. And uh, clearly one step towards this is to uh, classify the results with the SDGs and allow um, a search on, uh, on this aspect. It doesn't come for free. There are several challenges to do that due to the heterogeneity of uh, the metadata describing the research outputs and the data sources from which this information can be collected. So repositories, CRIS system, thematic repositories, publishers, uh, and, and so on. So this is something that should be taken into account when we are pulling information from different sources. And the publication deluge, meaning, I mean, the, the number of research products, publications, data sets, other types of research products is increasing month after month, really more than uh, 200 million published research is available and, and thousands of scholarly communication sources. So discovery, uh, identification of relevant products is a challenge. And it's a challenge also due to the lack of completeness and lack of quality of some part of the data and the metadata. So these are all aspects that uh, have to be considered when thinking about you know, tracking uh, everything uh, of your research landscape. So clearly you need to have an infrastructure and it requires time, it requires expertise and research and development. Uh, as Open Air, we try to help community on this with Connect. Because with Connect, basically you can create your uh, personalized gateway portal where you can basically uh, discover the research outcomes um, that are relevant for your community. So, to be clear, 
it's a portal that gives you a view of the open air research graph. And for those of you who don't know what the open air research graph is, is basically a data set which contains metadata about all types of research products linked to each other and linked to other entities of the research life cycle. So uh, affiliations, authors, funding grants, uh, data sources, so uh, the journals, all this kind of information is put together and linked to each other with semantic relationships. And the information that compose the graph is not only what open air collects from different data sources, but we are also able to apply full text mining algorithm in order to uh, enrich this information with what we can find in the full text and is not available in the metadata, which is often the case, for example, for links to funding projects or links to data sets. The portal is not just a discovery portal. Uh, it has complete branding capabilities, so you can configure it uh, exactly with the identity of your community. And the uh, example from Aurora is perfect in this sense. Uh, but as I said, it's not just about discovery. It's also about integration with other scholarly communication services. Uh, clearly, some of the open air services like Zenodo, Usage Counts, and Explore but also ORCID and uh, the EOSC uh, authorization and, and authentication uh, infrastructure. We have services for implementing open science practices. So the linking service, which you can use to uh, link publications, data sets and software and so on, so that you basically nourish the graph, uh, the, the record of research of your community but also services for finding the open repositories to use and, and therefore sharing uh, your research product. The service is um, operated by open air. This means that you don't need to take care about the IT stuff, installation, maintenance, bug fixing, uh, backups. It's all on open air. And the data that is discoverable via the portal is updated automatically every one, two months. Uh, basically, according to the update schedule of the open air research graph, because this is how it works. So we start from the open air research graph and we apply a configuration. So the, the criteria by which uh, uh, the research products are relevant for the community. So we identify these relevant products in the open air research graph and we tag them we tag them for the community so that they are discoverable then in the community gateway and we also publish uh, the the metadata as dumps in uh, in Zenodo. so in the end what what you will get if you if you have an open air connect gateway so from the administration point of view you get a dashboard that you can use to configure the gateway. So you tell us which are the criteria by which uh, the products should be included. And this is fundamental. I mean, the, the configuration is the very heart of your gateway. And as a community curator, you can specify different criteria of inclusion. So a list of keywords, project rents, uh, a list of thematic repositories and journals, uh, thematic Zenodo communities or organizations that you know are working in, uh, in a specific field. Uh, but also the users of the gateway can contribute to this and they can add uh, the missing products and links between the products with the link functionality. Then we also have the open air algorithms. So one is called the propagation algorithm, which basically propagates the fact that a product is relevant for a community from one product to another. For example, if a publication is relevant because uh, it has a specific, a specific keyword 
and is supplemented by a data set, then also the data set is relevant for the community, and so on. Then we have the full text mining algorithms, which looks into the abstract and the full text of open access publications to identify new information, as I said before, and this includes projects, affiliations, document classifications, uh, related data, and others. So this is all information that we can exploit to um, identify products of the community. Then clearly there is the, um, the public portal. So while the admin part is, uh, is only for the gateway curator, then we have the public part. So you have a portal where you can search for any type of research products and you have a very nice filter on the left that helps you in the discovery, but it also helps you to uh, keep track of the open science practices of the community because there are uh, some, some of the filters are uh, really helpful in this case for basic uh, thing, because as you will see afterwards, uh, we can set up a monitor dashboard in order to uh, better track the uptake of the open science practices of the communities. And yes, then we have the possibility to find the repository to deposit research products and the linking functionality, as I was saying before. So the latest development news uh, for uh, Connect. So if you are a manager, you may have noticed that the homepage changed. So we basically had uh, a full uh, redesign uh, of the user experience, user interface of the Connect, Connect Gateways. So we have a new menu here in the middle, a new subject page and other details that makes the gateways much nicer than they were before. And also the landing pages of publications and other uh, research products has been updated. So basically, all the actions are now grouped on the bottom left so that they are more compact and they are easier to, uh, to be used. And we also have uh, a more compact view of the different versions of our research products. Then I think a very, very nice improvement is now the possibility to create a customized menu. So in addition to the default one, which is always on the top, you can create your own uh, menu here. So you can link back to your community website or to your research infrastructure website, to the project website, or uh, to whatever you, you might have, you may want to link. So as you can see, Aurora is not uh, the, the only uh, organization we are working with, uh, with Connect. So there are many other uh, communities in place. Some have, uh, some have already uh, made their gateway public, others are still working on it. And so you cannot access all, all of them, but uh, we are covering a lot of different uh, research topics and um, we are very, proud of the response of the research communities uh, in this sense. But we are still open. So if you want to apply for uh, your community gateway, you can do it. Just go to the Connect uh, website and fill in the, the form that you can find here. And thanks to the Open, open Air Nexus projects, uh, we can start the work and it will be uh, for free until June 2023. And then after that, we can see if we have uh, opportunities for the sustainability uh, of the gateways afterwards, clearly. So this concludes my presentation. So I think Maurice, you can, you can show your wonderful gateway now. Yeah. So, thanks. Yeah. My wonderful game. Yeah, it is. It is actually wonderful. Uh, and uh, well, thank you for that explanation about what the product uh, was more, uh, Alessia, because uh, I, I couldn't do a better job because uh, I, I was thinking, what, what else do I need to add? 
uh, to this. And I also discovered new things like uh, the menus. I didn't know about that. So thank you for that. Um, share screen again. Uh, so here uh, were we with my uh, presentation. So the, uh, well, um, a little bit of context. Um, uh, so um, so what, what Open Air and, and uh, uh, Aurora have, have built a partnership and it's basically on, on societal impact and uh, um, open science. So, so what, what uh, Aurora could offer was uh, uh, users, a, a community of researchers and, and uh, uh, and, and also um, knowledge about SAG classification. So that's what we also uh, brought in. Uh, and uh, op Open Air uh, has for us a, a, a gateway a monitor and other train, uh, training and services uh, um, that we uh, can use. And um, yeah, let's go uh, forward. So what the the uh, the neat thing about this is the the old picture the old uh, user interface sorry about that i need to update the picture uh of the uh, aurora uh, gateway and uh, what we what we did with the sdg project was to collect all the um uh publications from each university and we did this using excel and then we try to get uh, to, to figure out all the fields and normalize the data and do all all that uh, uh, stuff but this neat thing is that if you connect to uh, the Aurora uh, gateway or to to the open air research graph in fact then um, you don't have to bother with all that stuff you could just connect your uh, repository uh, and make sure you're you adhere to the open air guidelines and then it does all that the dirty data cleaning stuff for you. Um, and then you can extract the data. Uh, well, it's basically put on the on the on the on the gateway itself. But if you want to use the data itself, then you go to the Zenodo data dump and then you get uh, collect your community data uh, from there. And that's your starting point where you can start uh, working on on the data in many different ways. Um, and that's 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 the new workflow that we are uh, trying to implement in the, in the next uh, uh, months to see if we can uh, use this uh, as a starting point uh, for our uh, creating our custom um, uh, dashboard. So, um, and the neat thing is um, when you when when these uh, publications are in there and if they are open access they, they get uh, processed as well and they uh, they extract um, uh, open air extracts lots more information for you uh, that you can uh, use so for example we didn't know about the, the research projects uh, that were involved but they in fact are in the publications it, itself even if even though we didn't put them as metadata in uh, on on the um, on the records uh, itself in the repositories, so you can use that to enrich your information, um, and also uh, it it gets uh, gets more about uh, uh, it also tags automatically the SDGs, uh, etc. This is about the monitor. So I will first uh, let show you put this window here this dashboard itself, but uh, the custom dashboard that we made, but I will uh, now go to um, open air. So first, uh, what you need to do is to add repositories uh, or CRIS systems uh, in uh, using provide. So go to provide.openair.eu. So I'm, I'm a sales, making a sales page now for, for open air. Uh, so you, you, uh, uh, you uh, register uh, uh, your repository uh, and then uh, it collects uh, your information. So this is a, a user interface from, from our university. So and we have uh, also a, another one and data versus now. Um, it collects the data in here and then you see uh, also, it comes with enrichments. Hey, this this is interesting. So it tells you which author identifiers Open Air found for us to add into our metadata to enrich our metadata even better. Um, so it, uh, that's that's a neat thing. Also, user usage count we don't use that yet. Uh, it needs to have a thing uh, added to in a, into a repository so the the clicks on the views and, and downloads are being transferred to Open Air. Uh, to, to have that uh, uh, on the monitor. But every uh, university 
uh, of us does this, uh, registers their uh, repository, and then we can uh, add it uh, to uh, the dashboard, to the, to the gateway. So uh, if you go to manage, uh, oh, I need to sign in again. It's, sometimes it signs out for security reasons. Um, and then uh, if you go to data sources, you can add your repository here by finding, looking up uh, the repository um, and then uh, add this uh, to uh, the, the existing list of, of repositories that you uh, used. Um, and it's added, we have uh, several of them here and uh, they are all added to, uh, to this, uh, uh, to, to our list. Um, and then I go to the homepage again. Oh yes. And also a neat thing is that you don't have to do this yourself. You see if you, you, you can have uh, uh, lots of other managers in there. So uh, we have um, a group who are, who's maintaining uh, this, uh, this page this uh, this gateway and you can just invite uh someone in your project to uh, to be added and of course the customization uh etc cetera, etc cetera. so really 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 nice uh nice um then I go to the home page again uh then you see uh how many publications uh from repositories are in there but also from uh the um the entities that we have uh I need to say something about the organizations that are put in here. Uh, we put in organizations in there, so it finds the affiliation in the publications that are not in our repositories, but somewhere else, uh, somebody else put put the, uh, some, uh, for example, a data set uh, in, a, in a repository uh, on Dryad or something like that. And we didn't know about it, but they are also put into um, uh, the gateway as well by affiliation. So we get not only the publications, but also data uh, in here. Um, and uh, the research software uh, from, uh, from Aurora and other uh, research project products. So this is pretty neat uh, to look into. So this is just an overview, but if you go to view all, uh, then it goes to another uh, page where you can, uh, see uh, much more uh, in detail uh, and filter much more in detail uh, your publications, data sets and research software. So here you can fill, see, for example, in these facets, uh, how many uh, publications are in open access or, or closed access, uh, the document types, the fields of science, and this is uh, added uh, by open air itself by using uh, AI to find out what kind of uh, field of science that uh, particular, uh, publication is referring to, but also here the SDGs as well. So here you can see uh, for peace and justice, we can select that easily and uh, uh, here are the papers that are uh, related to SG uh, 16 uh, and um, uh, that's all about peace and justice. Um, so this is how how that works. So this is this is just an overview of all that information um, uh, and and it's it's pretty neat already but if you have information uh, you also uh, can have a have a da have a dashboard it's it's all it goes goes in this workflow automatically because the data is already there uh, so we have a, a dashboard where where you can just see in a, in a quick overview, how many publications, data sets, and software there is. But if you are interested in open science, uh, you can zoom into this uh, for publications. You can see the open access, but also here the uh, see the APCs, uh, things for uh, for Plan S, and also the fairness of, of the data. So the, about the compliance of, of the metadata that we have produced uh, for these records. Um, and that's not only your publications, but data sets and software as well. So it's it's pretty amazing that we can see this, all this with, the only thing we needed to do is to add uh, or uh, make our repositories compliant to open air and add it to the, to the gateway. So in, 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 from our perspective, it's easy. I mean, for open air, it's been 
been, uh, done a fantastic <laughs> job uh, in in the in the past years to uh, to to go this far, but now you can read the uh, uh, the uh, the fruits from from what they've sown in those years, and it's 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 I'm I'm pretty much amazed uh, by this. Um, and we, you can use these diagrams in, in all kinds of reports. Uh, you can download this as, a, uh, as an Excel or, or download this as a picture uh, and, and make uh, reports in it. You can see the collaboration in, in organizations and countries. So you can see the impact and, uh, on this uh, in terms of the downloads that have been produced now in, in, uh, uh, in open air. Uh, but if we connect with the uh, usage counters from each of our repositories, we can add that information uh, as well. And here you see that the SDGs is coming soon, uh, and that's a, what we are also working with with Open Air uh, to see what what kind of information do you want to put on on this kind of these pages. Uh, and then we have uh, here the dashboard that we that we have, so we can um, give them advice on on how, how you want to filter uh, particular things or to collab see collaboration on a particular SDG, for example. Uh, what we've done here uh, as well on, on live on land, for example. And we can see uh, on, on a heat map where the collaboration is on, on that particular SDG and uh, also on the topics uh, and which, uh, with all, which authors um, are working uh, mostly on this. Um, so um, I think that's that's pretty much um, what I have to say about this. And what what's the time? So we have yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say eight minutes left. Yes, we 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 still have some time. Yes. So thank you. So this is my team who would wave at you and say thank you for very much for <laughs> for having us and uh, and and working together. Oh, thank you, Maurice. Thank you very much. Many thanks. Thank you, Alessia and Maurice, for your presentation. I think it was very uh, explanatory, and uh, you were, you have presented in detail the 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 service, the the, the added value, the functionalities. And, and now we have some time for questions or comments from the participants. We have two questions in the chat. One from Amar, that is, what is the or what are the difficulties and limitations faces in the SDGs program to be allowable to other universities and increase the networks? So I, I think this this is a question for me, I guess. What, and what is the difficulties and limitations faced in the SDG program uh, to be allowable for other universities and increase the networks? I try to understand the question, but if I um, interpret it like, um, uh, so what, what we want to do in Aurora is to connect the researchers uh, uh, together with a certain SDG. So uh, if I uh, show again uh, my, my dashboard, I, I try to uh, show how we try to answer that question. Uh, so show you, now you see the dashboard, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, what we what we try to do now is to uh, find collaboration, current uh, existing uh, collaborations on on the SDG. So uh, here uh, we want to filter, for example, on uh, life on land. I want to see here which research which researchers produce the multiplications on that SDG. Um, and uh, here are the are the uh, institutions who are the, working the most on on the, those those SDGs. For example, I am from the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam, so we have uh, produced uh, two hundred thirteen publications on uh, on that. These are the authors, but we want to, uh, for example, if we want to uh, see. Uh, um, what what we what our current collaboration is from the VU with um, uh, Innsbruck. I'm not sure if this uh, if this example works because then then uh, so we don't have any collaboration with Innsbruck. That's uh, what it says <laughs> basically. Uh, 
and uh, but uh, what was it? Is Anglia uh, perhaps has? So we can see. Um, yes. So we can see uh, which authors uh, uh, are collaborating with Innsbruck together. So this is current collaboration. But if you want to look into um, new collaborations, um, so you, you uh, clear all the filters, um, then uh, SD is uh, 15, and you uh, want to uh, find out collaboration on a certain topic, um, for example, on bird nests, um, where you're interested in uh, filter them. And then here you see uh the, the authors who are working on that particular topic so this could be an uh, example for example the the fields of science that uh, that have uh, been produced in in in, uh, in open air uh, because we we use now cyval but we want to move to open infrastructure as much as possible um so uh, we have, we'd, lo we'd love to work with the new data coming in in uh and uh, uh to uh, to filter on on that particular part and find out new collaborations specifically uh regarding to SG15, regarding to uh, uh, seabirds and birds' nests. Does that answer the question a bit? I hope so. Yes. And um, Amartya, if you are, okay, yes. Amartya replies that yes. Okay. We have uh, another question from Maria Jose. I think this question is, is, is to Alessia. If not wrong, you said that the repository must be compliant with open air, but open air guidelines three or four. Any of those would work. So in order to be harvested, you have to be compliant. And clearly uh, we would like more and more repositories to be uh, compliant with the latest version of the guidelines. So guidelines four and the guidelines for the CRIS system. Uh, but also our compliance with 3.0 is uh, is fine and it's enough in order to be included in the graph and to be counted for the statistics that you see in monitor. We still have some repositories that are compliant to the old driver uh, guidelines. So clearly newer the guideline, richer is the metadata that you offer and we can do more with what you give us. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. We have another question from Tendai. Is it, is it possible to import the data into our order platform or it's about link as repositories first? Uh, so for the open air gateway, in general, the, I mean, the, the research products the metadata about the research products should be included in the open air research graph. So this means that open air must harvest this information from somewhere. So either it comes from a repository or uh, for example, as a user, you can uh, add missing publications uh, by using the link functionality. But basically this allows you only to add metadata of uh, research products that are already available from Crossref, uh, data site, or ORCID. So you cannot actually upload something. Okay, thank you, Alessia. Oh, yes, and uh, some additional time for for questions. So please feel free to add your questions. You can also open the microphone. With some questions or comments. Okay. If not, I think we can close this session. Let 